Hi, and welcome to Classic Coating Systems. Today we're going to show you the proper way of cleaning the concrete and prepping it for a water-based stain. Classic Super Echo Edge Cleaner is biodegradable. It will not hurt lawns or plants. It works just like a muriatic acid. There is no neutralizing involved with this product. All you need to do is power wash it and rinse it off very well. The Super Echo Edge can be used to clean concrete, remove oil, efflorescence, calcium, Basically, we're going to use a, a traditional pump sprayer, all plastic. We're going to apply it to the concrete. Within 30 seconds later, we're going to power wash it off. So I went ahead and put the Super Echo Edge into a small sprayer. It's a small piece that we're going to be showing you how to clean. Uh, just use it 100%. Spray it onto the surface of the concrete. Make sure there's no wind. Now that we have finished uh, power washing the concrete, we would like to rinse it all off too, especially on stamped concrete. Hi, and welcome back to Classic Coating Systems. Today we're gonna be talking about how to properly clean the concrete, which we did yesterday, how to apply stains, but also how to identify problems in the cement. Before you do your staining, you gotta remove sealers or stain there before. If you have a fluorescence, we definitely need to use a densifier. Even though the Super Echo Edge We'll remove it, it will come back. It's coming from the bottom up. So for that case, we use the classic multi-densifier, efflorescent blocker. Another thing too, if we have a sealer or a stain, a water-based stain, we wanna remove it with classic stripper. It's biodegradable. You get about 300 to 400 square feet per gallon. You wanna follow the instructions. Okay, so before you start your staining, you wanna make sure that you uh, go from lighter colors to darker. You want to pour about 80% of the color into a traditional pump. Make sure it's all plastic too. Close the gallon, mix it again, and put it all together. Now we're going to demonstrate how to mix the color properly. We're going to move 80% of the gallon and pour that into your sprayer. Leaving about 20% in the gallon. Close it really nice and tight. Shake it really, really good. Open it again. Pour it back in there. One thing I want to make sure that I have no colors left on the bottom of the gallon. And in this case, I don't have any. I'm using all the colors to the fullest. One key factor, before you start staining, you want to make sure there's no wind. You want to protect the garage doors. Everything you don't want it to get stained. All right, we're going to start applying the stain. Uh, what we want to do is start from my left all the way across and we're going to do a circular motion counterclockwise. Okay, here we go. Test, here we go. If you noticed, I didn't have to pump the uh, sprayer at all. They kept the pressure going at the same PSI all the time, so it was a nice even coat. 20 minutes has passed by. We're gonna do the second application. What we're gonna do different this time is we're gonna start from the left to the right, and we're gonna go clockwise. Again, make sure the wind is on your back. You have everything covered, and here we go. You can also spray and brush it and you will gain about a 30% square feet more per gallon. Doing it that way, you're gonna reach 500 square feet per gallon. You wanna make sure the concrete's not too hot or on a hot day, that it's not gonna rain the day before or after. Classic 
the FX stains is nano, zero VOC, and they act like if it was an acid stain. In about two or three hours from now, when this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and seal it with our sealer, the Wet Look Water-Based Quick Seal. It's high solids, low VOCs. So pretty much we're gonna apply the sealer. There's gonna be two coats of sealer. I'm gonna spray it on, and I'm gonna have my assistant right here brush it. That way I get a lot square feet per gallon, about 600 square feet. It's gonna be very simple. You notice you got some whiteness, some brushes coming on. All that whiteness will disappear. This sealer will turn crystal clear. Okay, as you can see, the first application on Quick Seal has dried already. We're gonna do the second application. Again, we wanna crisscross the sealers so you can lock it all in there really good. We don't want any water going through it. So here we go again with the second application of Quick Seal. For the second application, we want to apply the sealer very light. Voila, finish. One of the most important things when you put in a sealer on the outside, they're going to be very slippery. So we suggest that you use classic Gator Grip. This one 12 ounce will do five gallons sealer. So keep that in mind. You only want to use this on your second application, not on your first. Thank you for watching Classic Coding Systems. Hope you enjoyed it.